That prisoner transport was last seen going westbound US Route 68. Subjects armed and dangerous. All right, we just had reports of a prisoner escaping a transport unit. They were on their way to the prison. Uh, looks like they were able to get out of the vehicle and take out the officers that were transporting him. It looks like this is going to be the vehicle, right? Right underneath us. Adam 6, Adam 18, we're driving through Harmony right now. We're about Let's three mics out. Tracking it. 6 and 18, three mics copy. Or 6, I got that vehicle still in sight. We're continuing uh, US Route 68 right now. Do we have any units up on US Route 1 that can block them off? Copy, continuing US Route 68. Any units up near US Route 1 that can support? Six, seven, two, three. Right, this I'm is up still a very fresh road, call, road, so we have a lot of unit. units coming inbound from Harmony, Sandy Shores, and then Polito Bay as well. So we're just going to try to keep tracking him and call this pursuit so that they know where this guy's at as they're making their way down here. Thanks for joining us tonight. This is Live PDFR. Whoa, 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 whoa. Out of 12, hold the channel, hold the channel. No, 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 shut fire, shut fire. Oh my god, look at him go! Put your hands up, okay? Do not operate that gun, otherwise you're gonna get bit. Continuing, oh my goodness, there it is! 1050, 1050, roll over accident. Sure, hands up, hands up, hands up! One good enough with the gun, shot fire, shot fire! Jason, you know what, he's, he's hot as hell, but man, his brain isn't too big. Hello and welcome to Live PDFR. Tonight we're following Trooper Davis with the San Andreas High Patrol Air Unit, Officer Williams with the Los Santos Police Department Bicycle Unit tonight, and Trooper Bailey also with the San Andreas High Patrol. With three cameras following all the action, we'll be right back after a short commercial break. Stay tuned, guys. If you'd like to support the channel a little bit extra, I've just set up a Patreon program where you can get perks like shoutouts, behind the scenes footage, early access to these videos, and a whole lot more. Please feel free to check it out at patreon.com slash Adrian Martin. And again, thank you all so much for being part of the live PDFR family. Love you guys. Welcome back, everyone. Let's dive right back into that intense pursuit of a prisoner transport stolen at gunpoint. Air 6 vehicles flipping around again. We're going back towards U.S. Route 1 at this time. We're going to be approaching U.S. Route 1. Stand by for direction of travel. Copy, approaching U.S. Route 1. Air 6, vehicle turn southbound U.S. Route 1. Southbound U.S. Route 1. Copy all units, vehicle turn southbound U.S. Route 1. Adam 6, I'm going to be primary in the pursuit. Vehicle's going about 75 miles per hour, traffic is medium. Do we know how many occupants there are? Adam 6, copy, we do not know how many occupants. Air 6, vehicles continuing southbound U.S. Route 1. Not sure if we have anybody with spikes up ahead that can try to stop this guy, um, but we're gonna be approaching the hotel area on US Route 1. Air 6 copy, approaching the hotel area on US Route 1. If any units have any spikes, go ahead and call that out. We're stopping, we're stopping. Air 6 vehicle stop, 1050 vehicle stop. We're on Barbino Road, Barbino Road in US Route 1. Copy, vehicle stop, 1050 hey, on Barbino Road in US where's Route 1. At? Adam 18 secondary vehicles continuing, vehicles continuing. Guys, I think we got at least four people in there. There's six vehicles continuing southbound US Route US Route 1. We crossed Banham Canyon. We're continuing southbound towards Los Santos. Go ahead and notify the city. Copy four occupants heading southbound US Route 1 past Banham Canyon towards Los Santos. We'll notify city. Air 6 vehicle crashed. It's going to be stopping on Inceno Road cross streets of US Route 1. Inceno Road. Copy vehicle 1050 on Inceno Road in US Route 1. We're on Inceno. We're on Inceno. Right, it sounds like the vehicle's on Inceno right now. Let's flip around and go help these guys out. Man, they are. They've got a lot of units on this call. A lot of units. Out of 44 secondary. We're almost back to US Route 1. Air 6, yeah, I got eyes. We're uh, back on US Route 1, just turned southbound from Inceno Road. We're really heading towards Los Santos now, crossing the resort. Copy, vehicles going back southbound US Route 1, crossing the resort. We'll uh, patch LSPD into our channel. You guys, watch out. I think the front passenger just brandished a gun. I saw it too. I think he tossed it hey, out. We're just going to try to keep tracking uh, this six. guy. Hopefully, we can get some spikes Copy, as six. we enter the city or uh, something like that so we can get this guy stopped. Air 6 continuing, US Route 1, we're starting to enter Los Santos. Uh, do we have anybody with spikes up ahead that can then help out? 
At M55, yeah, I'm up ahead under the bridge on Interstate 2. If you guys are coming up, yo, I see your lights. I see your lights. Go ahead and slow down. I got spikes. Copy spikes under the bridge. Everybody slow down. He hit him. He hit him. I think he's slowing down. All right, spikes were successful, it looks like. Air 6, spike successful. Spike successful. We're going to be on Interstate 2. 18, I'm coming around to your left. There's guys getting out with guns. I'm going to go ahead and hover, even though it's not good practice. Guys, tase him, tase him. Air 6, you got four or five guys outside of the vehicle. Four or five guys. Shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired, shots fired. I think we got two down. Where we got two down. At? Where are these guys at? Copy, shots fired, Come two on, down. Baby. Come on, baby. Get these guys into custody. Looks like we got some getting into custody. Head up 4 4. We got 4 uh, 10 15. If you can go ahead and roll EMS for uh, some suspects, gunshot wounds. Okay, sounds like over the radio we got four guys in custody. Four guys in custody. Nice. Got a 4 4 copy. We'll go ahead that and roll EMS. Awesome. Do we have any officer injuries? Man, spikes were deployed four, four, uh, and they worked negative. beautifully. Uh, they pulled out weapons and like we started shooting at them. 4 4 copy that. Air 6, your status? Air 6 copy. We'll just stay on scene for right now when, while you guys get those guys uh, searched and everything. Copy R6. Can somebody uh, turn off all the sirens, please? Man, that was an intense chase. I was uh, pretty scared once they started shooting there on scene. Let's go to Officer Williams. He's getting a call in Vinewood. All right, we just had a reports of a robbery down here. I've been uh, biking up and down Vinewood Boulevard, Eclipse Boulevard, and all that jazz. Um, and so I might as well come down here since the call is in this area. Let's go ahead and make contact. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Gosh, she's running after me now. Looks like it's going to be in this parking lot, so let's go ahead and make contact with them if if we can. Okay, it might actually be um, at the train car restaurant down the street a little bit here. Adam 12, caller states are in the back parking Excuse lot. Excuse me, man. Adam 12, I'll be uh, 23. Copy 23. All right, let's go see what's going on with this disturbance here. You gotta be joking. Whoa, let's calm down with the language over there. Jeez, some of these people, man, they just do not have any... She's still screaming on the phone. Good grief. All right, let's see what this whole robbery situation is. Speak to the victim. Okay, looks like it's going to be this guy over here. Hey, man, it's all right. It's all right. Adam 12, I'll be making contact with the caller. Hey, man, what's going on? Did you call? Uh, my name's Officer Williams with Los Angeles Police Department. Can you tell me what's going on today, man? Are you injured or anything like that, man? No, you're all right? Okay. Can you describe what the guy looks like who robbed you? It was some gangbanger. He was in the Grove Street families. Okay. Got it. Did he have any sort of weapon or anything that he used against you while he was robbing you? I don't know. He threatened me, but I didn't see anything. Okay, fair enough. Did he take anything at all? A gold ring. Okay, well, that's definitely not good. All right. Thank you so much, man. Adam 12. Okay, so the suspect is going to be described as a black male wearing a green and white checkered shirt. Uh, sounds like he was last seen heading down Eclipse Boulevard. I'll be searching this area if we can have some other units check as well. Adam 12, black male wearing a green and white checkered shirt. Last seen heading down Eclipse Boulevard. We'll see if uh, some other units can respond. All right, so let's go ahead and keep an eye out for this guy. So it's a black male wearing a green and white checkered shirt. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to be in this in this area of the restaurant, but let's go ahead and verify. You'd have to be a stupid criminal to stick around. But you never know, honestly. Some criminals are really just... There ain't no brain up there, so... They might steal a gold ring and stick around. It's not looking like that's the case, though. Yeah, nothing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and keep searching the area. If I were a criminal and I just stole a gold ring, I would either hop into a vehicle, which it sounds like he didn't do. All right, well, he uh, looks for that suspect. Let's go over to Trooper Bailey. She's riding a motorcycle tonight, and I think she spotted somebody speeding over in the Raton Canyon area. Let's go ahead and line him up right now. I'm sure you didn't expect a motorcycle to be behind him today. But uh, let's make sure he pulls off a nice safe spot. This is perfect. Okay, and he ran into the guardrail, so we're definitely going to have to do a little DUI investigation today. Queen 57 traffic. Queen 57, go ahead. 57, I'll be uh, westbound US Route 1, just across 
the bridge over um, Great Chaparral area. Copy, I'm showing you uh, westbound US Route 1 over the bridge near Great Chaparral. All right, let's go ahead and make, look at this guy, man. He was traveling so fast. God, we need to be really careful on this roadway here. I'm gonna just kind of pull over a little bit, a little bit further, so I can get off my bike and not get destroyed by a car. All right, let's go ahead and do this. This is gonna be not the safest spot, but let's uh, let's see what we can do. Hello, sir. Hello, everybody. My name's Trooper Bailey with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. The reason I'm pulling you guys over is uh, you were speeding and you were driving a little bit recklessly, okay? Is there any reason you're driving your vehicle like that? Someone flipped me off while I was driving next to them. Okay, so you're, there's like a little bit of road rage going on is what you're telling me? And you were trying to catch up to them or, or what? what's the whole deal there? All right, so front passenger is really nervous. Look at him over there. I mean, he's like moving his head back and forth. He's not looking at me at all. And he, he's got a lot of perspiration on his forehead and everything. So, okay, sir, do you mind uh, giving me your ID and uh, registration insurance for the vehicle, please? Kiflum, citizen. We're definitely going to get a backup unit down here to help us out. Thanks. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Um, do you happen to... Can you get the, the passenger to give me his ID as well if he's got it on him? All right, well, being really nervous and being pulled over by Trooper Bailey is not a good combination. Let's go back to Officer Williams. Remember that guy who got robbed for a gold ring? Looks like Officer Williams found the suspect. I think we might have spotted him. Hold up. He's right in front of the uh, tequila. La. Let's try to get through here. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Let's see if this is him. Yep, right up there. You see him? He's right next to the guy in the red shirt. Item 12. I've got that suspect in sight, I think. We're uh, westbound Eclipse Boulevard. I'm going to keep tracking him, but if we can get some units to start heading down this Look, direction, over there. that would be great. Item 12, copy. Westbound Eclipse. Uh, do you have the cross street there so I can send units? Yeah, the cross street is uh, southbound Mo Milton Drive. We're going to be right in front of the, the, belt, the Beta Life. Copy, southbound Mo Milton in front of the beta life. All right. Hey, man. Hey, man, you mind stopping for me for a second? Okay, let's get up ahead of him and see if we can stop him right here. Sir, sir, go ahead and stop right there. Stop right there. Los Santa's second. Police Department. My name is Officer Williams with the LSPD, okay? You were described as being somebody involved in a crime, all right? So that's why I'm talking to you. Do you happen to have any sort of ID on you, man? Kifla. Four up before. We're about a block away. Thanks. All right, thank you for your ID, sir. Um, okay, so quick question, man. Do you have anything illegal on you? Any sort of, you know, contraband or anything? Nothing illegal on you? Okay, do you mind if I pat you down? Is that all right with you? Papa Forward 23. You don't even know me like that? Well, I'm telling you, man, I don't need to know you like that, okay? Papa Forward 23. Um, do you have any weapons on you? I got you. Nope, no weapons, okay. Well. I'm telling you, the reason we're, we're talking to you, man, is somebody had reported a crime, and they they described you to a T. That's messed up? Okay, well, you're a possible suspect, so that's the reason I'm stopping you. Guess again? Well, all right, why don't you go ahead and turn around for me, man, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pat you down just for my safety and yours. So just go ahead and do that for right now, okay? All right, let's see if we can find this gold ring on him. I mean, this this seems like the suspect right in front of us. He's got a bottle of ibuprofen and a cigarette paper. All right, so I didn't find any gold ring on him. Um, let's go ahead and run him through uh, dispatch if we can. Out of 12 city, can you run a, a Hozu Ortega? It'll be 1229, 1995 is his birthday. Jozu. Out of 12, Jozu Ortega is clean and valid. No warrants or anything. Uh, we do have a note that he's part of the Grove Street families, though. Okay, so he's coming back valid. He doesn't have any warrants or anything, but he is affiliated with the um, with the gang down in Grove Street. So this is definitely going to be our guy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this guy all the way back to the scene where our victim is located, and he'll go ahead and, and give us a positive ID if this is the guy. Um, we don't have the gold ring on him. It's possible that he ditched it somewhere. You know, as he saw us behind him. So, 
or as he saw us approach the victim to start getting a statement from him. So we're going to go ahead and bring him back up there and, and we'll go from there. As he brings him back up, let's go back to Trooper Bailey. Remember she pulled somebody over for speeding and the front passenger was sweating a lot? Looks like she's got some backup on scene and she's going to make contact with him. All right, let's go ahead and ask these guys a few questions. I'm probably just going to see if he's been drinking and if nothing else comes up, I'll just give this guy a citation. Hello, sir. Okay, quick question, man. Have you been uh, doing any, have you been drinking at all tonight, this evening? You don't want to answer that? Okay. Um, can you tell me at least where you're coming from so maybe I can get a sense of, of what you're up to? You don't want to say anything at all. Can you tell me where you're going tonight? You're going to work? Okay. Well, that's fine. All right. So give me one second. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write you up a citation for going 11 over the speed limit. Um, and, and that'll be that. Okay. Actually more than that. Sorry. Just give me a second. All right. So he was going uh, 81 and a 60. So that is 21. So I'll be riding him up for going over 21 miles per hour uh, over the speed limit. I can tell you math was never my forte when I was uh, back at school. So another citation in the books Sorry for Trooper Bailey. All right, let's go back to Officer Williams. Uh, he brought that suspect back to the scene of the crime. It looks like the victim is going to do a positive ID on the suspect. Let's go there now and see. All right, so we got our uh, fellow officers on the scene. They've got the victim inside their car with them. Um, we had some other officers come down and, and fill a formal statement out with the victim. So they're going to tell us over the radio if this is a positive ID here. Let's go ahead and see. Item 12 to item 6. Is this is this the guy? Item 6 to item 12 direct. Victim is telling me that this is a positive ID. This is the guy. Okay, perfect. So this is going to be this is going to be a positive ID. This is the guy who stole the gold ring from our victim. So we're going to go ahead and cuff him up, get him uh, get him out of here, get him booked and all that stuff. Unfortunately, we weren't weren't able to locate the gold ring, so that's just going to be, you know, something that we can't recover, unfortunately. All right, man, go ahead and turn around for me, okay? I'm going to go ahead and place You're you into custody. Now. Luckily, this guy has been mostly cooperative. Sure, he didn't want to let us pat him down, didn't want to tell us what he's doing tonight, but at least he's not running off and stuff, so I can't beat that, honestly. Item 6 will be 10 7. Item 12, we got 1 10 15. We'll be uh, code 4 off of this scene. Adam 6, I'm showing you 10-7. Adam 12, copy, code 4. Adam 12, can you go ahead and roll the paddy wagon as well? Yeah. Man, you gotta love the paddy wagon. All right, let's go back to Trooper Davis in Air 6. Looks like he's getting a call. Let's go there and see what's going on. Right, we got reports of a stolen vehicle taken off in this area. I believe they were going eastbound Seaview Road. It looks like we got a vehicle traveling at a really high rate of speed right approaching Joshua right now. I'm gonna go see if we can uh, spot it. I believe this is gonna be our vehicle. Air six, I got a vehicle traveling at a really high rate of speed on eastbound Joshua Road. They're heading towards Sandy Shores. Go ahead and stand by for a second. I don't know if we have any units in Sandy Shores that could verify that this is our vehicle. Air six, copy vehicle high rate of speed on eastbound Joshua Road. Any Sandy units can uh, confirm the vehicle? <laughs> Sam 7, I'm by the police station. Yep, I'm seeing that car go by right now. High rate of speed. Copy, All right, so we got some units in the area that are verifying that this is our vehicle. Yeah, it's taking off. Uh, it's taking off. Air 6, you call this up? Air 6, copy that. Okay, we're going to be going uh, westbound Joshua Road, heading towards the far end of Sandy, uh, over by the Harmony area. Oh, we just had a pit almost. Had him not, I just tried to pit, pit him. Didn't work, didn't work. Unsuccessful. Copy, pit unsuccessful. Air 6, we're continuing westbound Joshua Road. We got one deputy behind him here, if anybody else is in the area that can support. Sam 7, I'm pretty close behind him, coming down Joshua. Adam 9, if you can pit again, go ahead and try again. Joshua's pretty open. Oh, I just try to pit him, just try to pit him. Did it work? Adam 9, pit didn't Looks work. Like it didn't work, their this vehicle's continuing. Slippery. Air 6, pit was unsuccessful, vehicle's continuing. Westbound Joshua Road, we're going to be approaching Stab City. But we're continuing westbound Joshua, heading up towards Harmony. Sam 7 Secondary, we're going up towards uh, Harmony right now. Sam 7 uh, we Secondary, got more copy, units behind him now. We got plenty of units behind him to, to get this pursuit going. Got him 6 8, I'll be third in the pursuit. Air 6, vehicles continue westbound Joshua Road. We just had a pit, just had a pit. They're going to be off on the off road here. On the off road, they're approaching the Route, route 68 approach road. And we're flipping around back towards Joshua, back towards Joshua, guys. 
God, it's hard to keep an eye on this Copy guy. Back, Where is Ezra. he at? There he is. Air 6, vehicle is continuing uh, up, up southbound on Joshua. Southbound on Joshua. We're going to be approaching Route 68 at this time. Copy southbound Joshua, approaching Route 68. Air 6, all units. Vehicle went past Route 68. We're continuing on Sonora Road, heading towards Los Santos. Heading towards Los Santos. He's going to be crossing a vehicle right now in the uh, opposite lane. Out of nine, we're going about 85 miles per hour. Guys, watch out for oncoming traffic. Copy southbound Sonora, 85 miles per hour. Right, we got him right here in our sights. Out of nine, he's Picasso. Whoa, out of nine just crashed. I'm going to take over primary. Out of nine, you good? Out of nine, yeah, I'm good. I'm going to be out of the pursuit. Out of nine, copy you. Do you need EMS? Yeah, go ahead and send it, please. Air 6, vehicles continuing on Sonora Road, heading towards Los Santos. We're passing the main farms, and we're going to be uh, continuing continuing southbound Sonora. Copy, continuing southbound Sonora, past that main farm. 77 all units, try to be careful. Traffic has no idea what to do when we're behind him. There he is in front of us. Air 6, vehicles driving opposite lanes of uh, travel for a second there. We're continuing southbound Sonora. We're going to be passing the nice villa. Um, and we're going to be approaching the the stadium here in a second. Copy, passing the Villa on Sonora and approaching the stadium. Yeah, the, the open air stadium. That's going to be uh, coming over to our right pretty soon here. Man, I got to maintain control of this helicopter as I'm trying to find out where he's at. All right, here we go. We're going to be entering Los Santos again. Air 6, all units, we're entering uh, Los Santos. We're continuing Sonora Road, passing Marlowe, passing Marlowe. We're going to be entering Vinewood very soon here, guys. Copy, continuing Sonora, passing Marlowe, and heading into Los Santos. We'll go ahead and notify some city units. Sam 7, all county units. Let's try to keep some gaps, just in case this guy tries to break check us. All right, looks like he's going to be turning right here. We're turning right left, guys. We're turning left. Air 6, vehicles turning on Vinewood Boulevard. Cross Interstate 1, we're heading towards the Mirror Park area. We're continuing on Mirror Park Boulevard, eastbound. Eastbound Mirror Park Boulevard. Copy vehicles continuing eastbound, Mirror Park Boulevard. Item 6 what do we got on this guy? 6 this is a stolen vehicle out of Grapeseed. Suspect took the vehicle uh, at gunpoint. Copy, thanks. Air 6 all units, we're going to be continuing on Mirror Park Boulevard. We're crossing Mirror Park Lake right now. Um, we're going to be continuing. continuing uh, wow, this is a crazy pursuit. Drive, Let's break drive. off for a second and go over to Officer Williams. He's getting a silent alarm call over in Vinewood. Let's go there and we'll come right back to the pursuit if anything happens. Then we're going to be going up there and really, you know, taking this as a possible robbery in progress call. So hopefully we'll have some additional units that are uh, responding. Looks like we got a sheriff with us as well going down to that scene. So we'll go ahead and get out and make contact with whoever else is on scene. It's possible they'll continue up the street to uh, start a perimeter as well in case anybody leaves. But this is going to be the residence right here. Item 12 on scene. Item 12, 23. All right, so just getting on scene here, we got somebody out front. Item 12, I've got a white female in a white dress standing out front of the garage. Can I get some additional units to respond this way, please? Item 12, copy. White female outside. We'll send some additionals. Item 2, 3, I'll be making my way back around. Uh, I'll be there shortly. All right, let's go ahead and make contact with her. Since it is a silent alarm, I want to take this a little bit more, uh, you know, safely than just walking up to her and asking her what's going on. So I'm just going to kind of chill out for a second. Backup unit is almost here. So, yeah, they're going to be pulling up right now. I believe it was that deputy that was starting the perimeter. Adam 23 you can go and show right, me. let's see. go ahead and make contact with him. Adam 23 1023. Hey, what's up, deputy? Yeah, I saw you ahead of me. I was wondering uh, if you were going to be stopping with me here. Hello. So, I just pulled up, man. I see there's a white lady with the white dress standing out front of the garage um, I guess we could just go ahead and make contact with her and see what's going on if that sounds good with you all right let's do it man all right so he's just gonna get my back you know covered so just oh in case God, there's a weapon or anything like that we'll be all set hi ma'am how's it going my name's officer Williams with the uh, Los Santos Police Department uh, we got called out here for a possible silent alarm are you uh, the homeowner or anything 
I'm, off I'm sorry, officer. It was the cat. Okay, is that so? Yes, officer. That's why I'm out waiting for you. I knew you'd be coming. My cat Milo knocked over a dresser and the alarm was triggered. Oh, there's the cat. I guess uh, that must be Milo right there. All right, well, I guess that's a new one for us. Uh, I'm still going to need to check your ID if you got that on you, okay? All right, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, can you go ahead and give me that ID for uh, for us to run? Kifwa. All right, I believe dispatch had said earlier this belongs to a Jess Freeman, the residence. But we'll go ahead and confirm with the uh, with dispatch one more time. All right, thank you so much, Jess. Give me one second, okay? Adam 12, can you uh, run a Jess Freeman? It's going to be date of birth 5 4 uh, Stand by for the residence. Just want to make sure she's the homeowner. Adam 12, Jess Freeman is coming back. She's clean and valid. No warrants, no priors or anything like that. Copy, thank you. All right, the residence is 4587 West Milton Road. Does that come back to a Jess Freeman as the RO? Adam 12, 4587 West Milton Road. Yes, that comes back to a Jess Freeman. Copy. Okay. Copy, 10 thank you. All right, so everything's coming back clear, ma'am. Uh, we just ran your name through the system. You don't have any warrants or anything crazy like that. Um, you are the registered owner of this property. So, I mean, thank you so much for, for giving me your ID. Well, there you go. It was the cat that triggered the alarm. All right, let's go back to that really intense pursuit over in Davis. Looks like that pursuit is still going right now. Um, okay, we're going to be heading into El Burro Heights, it looks like here. Air 6, we're heading into El Burro Heights. We're, uh, we're still on El Rancho. We're going to be heading westbound towards towards the Davis Strawberry area. Copy, continuing to El Rancho Boulevard, heading towards the Davis Strawberry area. Guys, keep your eyes open. I hear there's a lot of shootings in this area. There's six vehicles turning now. We're going to be on the main drag that goes through Davis and Strawberry on Carson Avenue, guys. On Carson, he's going to be crossing over where the trams are at. We're going to be... We're going to be continuing on Carson. Continue on Carson, westbound. Copy, continue Carson, westbound. Whoa, was that just me or did I just hear a huge explosion? Out of 6 8, yeah, copy, I did too. It sounded like it was coming from the south. Copy, it must be unrelated. I think we're turning. Air 6, vehicle turn left, vehicle turn left. We're going to be on Forum Drive, guys, Forum Drive. 1050, 1050. There's six vehicle try to turn into an alleyway. 1050, 1050. Ve vehicle stop. People getting out. People getting out, guys. One on foot. One on foot. Yeah, he's bailing. He's bailing towards Grove Street. Unit's right there. Where's Block he him where's off. He at? Where's he at? He's past us. There's six. Appears to be a male wearing a white shirt and dark pants. Going to be foot pursuit heading onto Grove Street. Heading onto Grove Street. Yeah, we're going to Grove Street. Get, get oh, your hands yeah, up, baby. Head. Looks like they got him tased. They got him tased. Head up to one. Taser deployed, 110-15. Can you roll EMS for uh, taser prongs? Copy, 110-15. We'll go ahead and roll uh, EMS for taser prongs. Do we have any officers injured? No, uh, no officer injuries. I have say, Kilo and EMS No, uh, he's got a pretty big laceration in the face from the accident. It's bleeding pretty heavily right now, but we got it patched All right, up. we're getting confirmation over the radio Simple that copy. they got this guy into custody. Nice. Another successful pursuit in the books, guys. Woo! Air 6 to all the ground units. Nice job, guys. That was beautiful. This lady is jaywalking very clearly, and the guy behind him is following. Gotta love it, man. Man, we got a lot of people that are just screaming cuss words out the door, or out, the, out of their voices. God, I really need to get into this, man. Oh, my God, that scared me. Let's go and make contact with him. Hey man, go ahead. You mind stopping for me? God, look at these textures. Okay, I'm not really sure what, what this deputy is thinking right now. I don't know how the hell they got here on the opposite side of the guardrail. That's gonna be some useless backup. Whatever. All right, let's go ahead and ask these guys a little bit of uh, follow-up questions here. What in the world? Look at this. And the deputy just flies over the, the guardrail. All right, let's go back and refilm that. All right, so let's go ahead and ask these guys a few follow-up questions. We have our backup unit up ahead here, um, but let's let's see what's going on. Hello, sir. 
I, I realize you have a concealed carry permit, uh, you know, registered to your name. Do you happen to have any sort of weapons on you at all? Okay, let's refilm that again because that's not one of the questions I can ask. Wonderful. There it is. I'm trying to make a scene here and you're freaking crashing into everything, dude. Get out of here. Or can you just stay right there? Is that is that acceptable? Can you do that? Is that something that's going to be workable? Nope. Okay, really? God, you freaking idiot, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Fuck you. Okay, go run over the suspect. Yep. Oh, there it is. Come on, get out of here. El Rancho Boulevard, heading southbound El Rancho. We're going to be approaching that bridge, the big bridge, guys. All right, looks like this was not the area I was thinking. There is no bridge in sight. Uh, I'm going to see if I can go ahead and hover for a second in that nice spot. This is a big boy, so got to let it settle for a second here. There it is. All right, well, that's going to be it with the helicopter because clearly I can't control the spotlight anymore and I'm going to be crashing, so there you go.